Hello everyone, Hank Miller with the Hank Miller team here. I'm out on a new construction uh, build that we have going for clients of ours. And uh, doing the walkthrough, found a few things that we need to get uh, to get corrected with the builder. And I, I thought it would be a good opportunity to uh, give you guys an idea of what we look for and what a competent agent should look for uh, during the build on, on a new construction. And one of the reasons you should have a dedicated buyer's agent, because the agent's sitting way down there in the sales center, they're not coming out here. They don't give a rat's rear end about what's going on out here. That's, that's what we do, and that's what a competent buyer's agent does for you when you're building a, a new construction. So if you think you don't need one, that's fine. If you want to get the rebate or whatever, if you think you're getting something, that's fine too. But just know... You guys are getting uh, you're getting into trouble if you don't have competent eyes out here. This home is using trusses instead of rafters. Trusses are a lot easier, a lot lighter load, and much much faster. They are built off site and then brought into the uh, into the job site. And you have to take a good look and make sure that none of these break. And I think I'm zoomed in on the right one up top there. You can see a split truss that needs to be changed out. And when you step back a little bit more, you've got a broken truss, and that one needs to be changed out. That's not uncommon. What is a little bit strange to me is why these guys would just continue to drive on with that. I mean, obviously it's busted, but they'll replace those. We'll call for that, and I would assume the builder would, would do that, but we'll follow up to make sure that that happens. Here's another example of a damaged, uh, of a damaged truss. You can see that, uh, that plate has broken completely off that two by six that needs to come out and get changed. That right there has got a nice split. I want them to change that one out as well. Either that or possibly you could extend that, that plate, but I, I think that will probably get changed as well. So these are the things that you need to catch because if you uh, get drywall up and it gets sealed up, it's your problem when you go to sell this house. Something else too, th there's different levels of wood quality and these uh, two by fours that are used in trusses are generally the lower grade stuff and you can see that piece right there is not a true two by four as far as you know that's the bark side of a of a board and it's not the greatest for fish finishing but it's just fine for something non uh finished that would be like a truss you can see this wood right here is all clean and this is the interior and it's going to handle drywall so you want a better quality and a more dimensional cut of lumber so that's, uh, that's fine, but a lot of times you'll see rattier wood when you get up into uh, trusses and whatnot. And it's just a question of using cheaper material. Structurally sound, that's not a problem, but it's not as uh, cosmetically beautiful, let's put it that way. And it won't work as well with drywall, as far as holding corners and things like that. All right, so we're around back, uh, at the back of the house. That's the upper level, so there'll be a deck that comes out in here. Down here is the daylight basement, and this will be the patio under the deck, which will be put above. And now we're gonna look at some concrete. This is brand new concrete, so it's just put in, and you can see these hairline cracks. Now concrete does two things. It gets hard and it cracks. And that's not unusual, but what is unusual in this case is the fact that this slab has been in probably three weeks, and I've already got this many cracks, so. This is a conversation to have with the builder. And my concern here is that it's so green that they, you know, the, the cracking and whatnot, they probably didn't compact it properly. And this cracking is gonna allow water to get in and it's just gonna get worse. And three weeks in, unacceptable as far as I'm concerned. So this is something that we're gonna have to bring up with the builder. And the answer is to rip out this slab and put a new one in. You cannot resurface concrete or break a part of it out and put it back in because it's it just doesn't work. And something like this, this whole slab needs to be pulled out. And at the end of the day, it's not a big deal. What they'll do is they'll cut right along this expansion joint with a concrete saw, leave this slab intact, which is largely fine, and then replace this, this larger portion. Another quick walk through run around kind of a thing. This is uh, up on the main level. There's the concrete down below. That'll be the walkout in the patio below. And you can see these uh, 
these temporary supports holding up that part of the uh that part of the roof line and there'll be a deck coming in there and a porch so that'll be uh that'll be replaced with permanent uh permanent supports but right now everything is just kind of pinned together and as the sheathing on the roof goes on it'll tighten everything up and it'll provide a a nice uh rigid uh support system but this this home is in the framing stage still a lot of work to be done and uh those those issues noted will be corrected and hell they might be corrected already by the builder he might have marked them but uh we will be out here every week we are with every deal and we just uh we just make sure that what needs to get done gets done so don't uh don't believe the nonsense and the crap that you don't need an agent out on new construction especially now this is uh this is middle of 2022 these guys are just slapping these things up so don't uh, don't depend on the uh, county you just need a second set of eyes and you need somebody to uh to ride herd so hope this helps hank miller with the hank miller team any questions you know where to find us 678-428-8276 hankmillerteam.com